today we're going to be making this beautiful fruit bouquet of flowers that's delicious and gorgeous. So let's get started. This is what you're going to need. You'll need a pineapple and some flour cookie cutters and I just got them at Walmart for around three dollars. You'll need a cantaloupe and a melon scoop which was also at Walmart for a couple dollars. Um, grapes, strawberries, chocolate chips that I think are my favorite kind so I have dark chocolate and white chocolate and then you can also do milk chocolate whatever one you like or you know your mom will like. Um, skewers, these are just bamboo skewers, like I have 100 pack at Walmart for a dollar. Um, some leafy lettuce, really frilly and pretty. And then you'll need a cutting board and a knife and some tin foil. And I just got these at the dollar store. So um, a few of these and a little planter or pot or bowl to put them in. So this is really easy to cut through. And I'm just kind of putting it in here. I want it to be about that tall. And I want to cut it at a slant a little bit just to kind of have it fit into the bucket a little bit better. Yeah. I might not even need all of these, but just do it in case. I'll definitely have to cut a slant off of this one. Alright, so that's what I have right there. That's where the skewers are going to go into. And I'm just kind of piecing it together putting these wherever I feel like would help so it looks just like that. And I think that's about it. I'm just going to put some tin foil over it to kind of help give it a little bit more support and then we'll move on to the fruit. So now I have this floral foam in here in this bucket and this was a dollar by the way. It was like 97 cents for this bucket so that's a really good price. I love it. Um, I'm just going to take the tin foil and put it over the top, not only for support, but also, so this foam has little, little things that kind of stick to stuff, so that will keep it from getting on the food. So just like that, then the skewers should be able to just stick right into there. So now what we're going to do is with a cutting board and a knife and a pineapple, just go ahead and take your pineapple and start making about, um, I'm not sure, about this thickness of pineapple slices. Just try and make them about the same thickness all the way through. And I only have one pineapple, so the thinner they are, it was just makes more flowers. Here are these cute flower uh, cookie cutters that I just got at Walmart. And there's a whole bunch of different sizes, which is perfect for this because I didn't know exactly what size I would need for the pineapple. So, and I think the, the biggest size is a little bit too big, but the second size down, it will be perfect. And I'm just going to take each pineapple slice and push it right down into the pineapple. And there we go. Beautiful little flower. And I'm just going to do that through all of these. And this is perfect too because um, the flower is just the right size so that it's able to cut out all of the little brown pieces towards the corner. So you're not getting any of those in your little flowers. So now we're just going to pick the beautiful strawberries. And we're just cutting off the tip. Just like that. To get the strawberries ready. And I want half of my strawberries to be just regular and half of them to be chocolate covered. And it's okay, they don't all have to be the same size because that's what will give it a little bit more variety. There's some good looking strawberries. I love strawberries! 
You should ask Michael. I love strawberries so much. I think that's my favorite food is chocolate covered strawberries. All right, so I have a whole bunch ready. Those are just gonna go on skewers, so I'm gonna put them with the pineapple. Next, we are going to use our cantaloupe. So first, what I wanna do is just cut it in half. Oh, and this is good, it doesn't have too many seeds. So we're just gonna take the seeds and scoop them out right in to our bowl. Get it all cleaned out really good. Just make sure it doesn't have any seeds. Okay, now we're gonna take the big scoop because that's the current, the size that we want. And I'm just gonna put it in here with my strawberries over here. We're just gonna take it and push it in to make a cute little ball. And these are gonna be the center of your pineapple flowers. And obviously you'll pick the best ones to go in the middle. And whatever's left, I'm just gonna to give to the kids because I think they love it. And they don't care if they look pretty. <laughs> they just care if it tastes good or not. <laughs> and the deeper you scoop into it, the better circle comes out. And I think that's plenty, so I'm just gonna let the kids scoop out the rest. And here we have our beautiful, delicious looking fruit. All ready to go. Our grapes are basically good just the way they are. I'm just gonna make sure that they're not on the stem, obviously. And get those all ready. And just make sure that they don't have the stems on them. And they're rinsed really good, so that's good. So now that we have the majority of our fruit all ready to go, you know me, and I can't do this without a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> so we're gonna make some chocolate covered strawberries to go along with this. So you're gonna need two bowls. And this time I'm doing dark chocolate chips. This kind. I really love this brand. They have the best milk chocolate chips ever. <laughs> and a little bit of white chocolate chips. And of course you don't have to add the white, it does give it a better look, just a little bit more pretty. <laughs> so there's all of our chocolate chips, all of our dark chocolate and all of our white chocolate. And you're just going to put these in the microwave at 30 seconds, 30 seconds at a time, then stir them, then put them in for 30 seconds and stir them until they're liquid and shiny. And just so you know, this, these are the very best chocolate chips ever. They taste but like Cadbury chocolate. It's so yummy. So usually I use these, but this time I've heard that dark chocolate is a little bit better for you and I'm <laughs> I'm wanting to be a little bit healthier. Not really because it's chocolate, right? <laughs> but so I'm going to be using just the same brand but semi-sweet chocolate. And this is what it's looking like. Just as I'm mixing it after, this is two rounds of 30 seconds, my microwave is not very hot. <laughs> so this is about what it's looking like and you just have to mix it every time after you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds so that it doesn't burn. And now you take your baby. And kiss her. And that adds the sweetness. <laughs> so after a few rounds of putting in the microwave at 30 seconds, it's starting to look like this. And I think that might be the last time. Yeah, because it's all starting to melt. The more I stir it, the more it melts. And just once it's smooth is when it's ready to use. And look at that. It's already smooth. Yummy! <laughs> You're so cute! <laughs> Woo! Almost got some feet in your chocolate! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so, normally when I do chocolate covered strawberries, I actually don't put them on a skewer because I don't normally make a basket like this. <laughs> but I think that's what we're gonna do with these ones. You'll need some skewers. Oh, and make sure when you do that your strawberries that they are completely dry. So here are my strawberries and they're still pretty wet. 
So I'm just going to get some paper towels, pick out the best ones, and those are the ones that I'm going to be using, and dry them off. So here's our strawberry on the skewer, and I'm just going to take and roll it just like that into the chocolate, and give it a little shake to get off that extra chocolate. So it doesn't drip down once you put it in your basket. And then here, I'm just going to shake this off a little bit and start giving it a little bit more of a design. It gives it a little fancier look. And now, as you can see, I've just taken a little thing and flipped it upside down and I'm going to put that in the fridge just as soon as I'm done with all of them to give them a little bit of a chance to harden before we put them into our edible basket. So same thing, and we're not taking off the stems of these just because it needs to have something to hold on to a little bit better with the chocolate being dipped onto it. And you can put the white chocolate on it, or if you don't like white, white chocolate, then just leave it just the way it is, and that's really good too. And feel free to, free to be creative and do whatever you, uh, whatever designs you feel inclined to, because obviously this is your work of art, so make it however you want. And if you don't think that you want this much chocolate and you want it a little bit thinner but still got the chocolate flavor on there, um, you can add a little bit of oil, just vegetable oil, to the chocolate while you're cooking it. And if your chocolate starts to get a little bit thick, um, especially the drizzling chocolate, I would suggest putting a little oil with it. But if it starts to get a little bit thick, it might just be like uh, cooling off. So just putting it in the microwave for a couple more seconds would probably be fine. And as many of these as you want, it will just look really pretty. And try not to push them too far in on the skewer, just so that they don't pop out the other end, because that will kind of lose their strength. Alrighty, now these can go right into the fridge. So now that we've got most all of our fruit ready, we're going to take our bucket. So we're going to take a pineapple slice and stick the skewer right through the middle right where the core is and have it go about a half an inch to three-fourths of an inch through and then we're going to take a cantaloupe piece and stick it right over the top of that and look at our beautiful flower and then just stick it in we're going to keep going with that until all of our flowers are ready and I think it's fun to put them at different heights and just different places to give them a little bit more variety I think the part that takes up the most time is actually preparing the fruit the rest of it just happens really quickly once you put it together. Okay, now we have our grapes that we're going to just put in the skewers, one at a time. And then wherever you want them, wherever you think it might look good, is where you're going to stick them. And I'm putting about seven onto each of these. It really just depends on how long and how, how you want it to look. And usually it's good to push down with the stick, not the fruit. <laughs> The foam holds it all together really, really well. And we're about I, I, a little bit more than halfway down with all the grapes. You just kind of fit them in wherever you think it might need one. I think this is one of those projects that's very breathtaking and like, wow, almost like how, how did you do that? But everybody pretty much knows how they did it right. <laughs> it's so funny, Michael edits my videos and I keep thinking to myself how this is going to look. <laughs> When we're done and I'm like imagining music playing and all, all this stuff. He does a really good job editing, right? Right? I mean, comment below, good job Michael, if he did. <laughs> now we're going to throw in a few of our plain strawberries. Just stick them right in wherever they will hold really good. Towards the outside edges, I decided I want to push them in a little bit more, just to make them look a little bit more round. So now that I have all my strawberries and everything put in here, I went around and actually pushed the strawberries down to the level of the flowers, just because we want the grapes to really pop out more than the strawberries do. Um, so now I have these already done in the fridge, and about the time it took to cool or to harden was the right amount of time for putting the rest of the arrangement together, so that worked out really well. So I'm just going to push these in 
I'm just going to push them in at whatever points really look good and what level looks good. And wherever there's space, really. Because it is getting a little bit more full at this point. So now that we have it all put together, I just have a little bit of really frilly, leafy greens that I'm just going to stick wherever I can, really, to just kind of cover up some of the ugliness of the tin foil underneath. <laughs> So it looks like it's coming out of a green garden area instead of a foam and tin foil. <laughs> and it's as easy as that. So the grand total, this is what's so interesting to me and awesome. The grand total, guess. Okay, that's enough time. <laughs> Was $13.68. By the time I put it all together and the amount that I used of each thing, there was lots of leftovers. So um I got to use not even, ugh, most of everything that I bought, I didn't use the whole thing. And so, um, you could make multiple with the amount that you spent. And I spent around 25, 24 for everything, but then I had tons left over, so it ended up being around $13, which was awesome! Okay, so you guys should try this. It's really cool and way easier than I expected it would be. So, um, I hope you like my channel, and I hope you love this! I want to eat it really bad, but I'm debating if I should give it to somebody or just eat it. <laughs> oh, it's so delicious. Oh. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Please comment and subscribe to my channel and comment about what you would like to see on my channel too. Anything that you think I should try out um, for you guys. And then like it and we'll see you next time.